My name is Karin Bodker. I am Marine Analyst at Living Ocean Society in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I also work on a project called the British Columbia Marine Conservation Analysis. That's a collaborative project where we're developing tools for the marine planning um, initiatives that are happening on the BC coast. The BCMCA over the past four years has developed a couple of products. One of them is a marine atlas of Pacific Canada and that's in a print version and also all the data are available online. The marine atlas illustrates all of the marine life in the environment, things like all the plants and bird species and where their habitats are and then it also illustrates the different human uses of the marine environment, so things like commercial fishing, recreational fishing, where the shipping lanes are and that kind of thing. Some ocean energy maps, this is uh, actually offshore petroleum tenures and some of the places where they drilled exploratory wells many years ago. And the next product we developed was we put all of these data layers together in an analysis and used the uh, decision support tool called MarkSan in order to identify areas of high conservation value. Okay, what we're looking at here is the interface for the MarkSan decision support tool. So this is an example of one of the results maps from the MarkSan analysis. The orange areas are areas of high conservation value that Mark Zan has picked out from one of the analyses. Over here, on the map, you can see that there's a number of planning units. Each of the planning units for the BCMCA are two kilometer by two kilometer. There's more than 120,000 of them in the whole coast. So over the last uh, about four years, what the BCMCA did was develop these products, the Atlas and the example analyses. And what we're working on now is making sure that the marine planning community in BC knows about them and we're sort of interpreting and helping them use these products appropriately. Really, the, the BCMCA wouldn't have been possible without the Moore Foundation. They gave us the capacity to do a really comprehensive job on the atlas. When we started the project, we were looking at maybe just doing an atlas and compiling the ecological data. And when they came on board, they really gave us the capacity to look at mapping out all the human uses on the coast as well and to engage the human use um, sector representatives in the project and do a really comprehensive job on the atlas. As the marine analyst for Living Ocean Society, what I'd like to see in the next five years is a really the implementation of ecosystem-based management framework across the Canadian Pacific for all kinds of different projects and maybe community development projects and just generally planning into the future.